shine blazingly bright my greatest treasures it's your boy salos back again with some pokemon scarlet and violet regulation g but momocon has come to an end i had a blast got a chance to meet some um oh some of most of the people that came it was only two people that came this time last year we had pretty much our entire group chat that came it was a really good time this time only one of the people from our group chat came but i did get to meet some online friends Got to make some new friends in the process. Overall, it was a really good time. But Momocon Tournament has come to an end. We're going to get more into that as the video goes on. But I am not alone today. I'm actually joined by another contender who was competing for the Momocon Tournament. And if you guys are, have followed my Monster Hunter content, then you already know who he is. He's been on the channel many times before. But my good buddy, A Bug, is here to talk about Momocon. So, hey, um, Editor Sales here. So, what you're about to see is going to, it might look a little junky, I'm not sure, I'm going to do my best to make it as seamless as possible, but what happened, what had happened was, is that the recording session, when, we, when me and a bug were talking, we had a little bit of audio issues, so we then went back the next day and re-recorded our discussion on Momocon, and that is what you guys are going to be hearing. However, what you guys are going to be looking at is our battle that we had after MobileCon to wrap everything up. So if it looks a little out of sync or if it sounds a little out of sync, then that's what's going on. I'm going to try my best to do my thing on the editor's side, but I just want to let you guys know that we are talking. If it sounds like there are certain points we're talking about that don't match up with the video, that's why. But I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to let you guys watch the video. Hopefully it looks all right. All right. I'm going to let you guys enjoy it. So what do you think of the tournament all together? I say it was really fun. Um, they, were a lot, they were a lot more organized this time around, excluding like, the only thing that I have to say that was just a bit more of a pain was like, which gym leader slash lead program going to do what? Because like, uh, on the app description, I pretty much said, uh, regulation G. F. Oh, Regulation G. My bad. Regulation G, however, like, that was mainly for just me, like, for example, if me and you were to put children in the tournament against everybody else, then yeah, that's Regulation G. But with the gym leader, they do flat rules, they do doubles, which I, I love doubles, but still, it's like, okay, which is which, because... It was even like a 6v6 in there. You had a 6v6 yeah. against the poison gym leader, yeah. and I was like, Arrow's was like, wait, 6v6? Yeah, I know, that's what I was going to say. I remember it was you, another guy who were like ahead of me, and y'all did 3v3s. Yeah, because yeah, I, think I think he realized his own rule says, I, I'm going to be here all day if I use 6v6. So, you know what? 3v3 is like, wait, can they just change on the fly like that? I'm like, yeah, I think they can. But yeah, I agree. I agree with that. But also, one of my biggest suggestions for them would be just separate them. Like, yeah. it, it, especially, like, cause I, I felt so bad because I, I had to fight a little Timmy round one, and his dad was sitting right there. <laughs> and it was, I, I don't know if he was about to cry, but I did hear his dad, like, this is your first time doing something like this, right? Like, you're doing pretty good, and your opponent's really nice. And I was like, hey, wait, is he about to start crying? Please, please, little Timmy, don't cry. Please, little Timmy, don't cry. No. So, like, for because even in competitive, there's even tiers. Like, you have you have um, juniors division, normal division, and masters division. So, like, maybe just in gaming hall A, you do the gym leaders, you fight the elite four, you fight the champion, and in gaming hall G, is the real deal regulation G tournament. I agree. I don't want to fight no little Timmy and then, you know, I'm literally holding back everything I have to make sure. Oh, uh, no. Um, have you seen that one meme of uh, the, the Oris meme where it's like the, the two little toddlers and then you send out Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon? It's like these kids got to learn the hard way. Yeah. That's literally how I was. I'm like, look, you, you entered a tournament, so I'm not going to hold back so so prepare to get these digital hands. 
And the guy who ended up DQing me, he was like, I don't know if I'd have it in me to fight a, to fight a kid, dog. And I was like, I think I DQ'd a kid. He was like, you, sir, are heartless. I, I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't even know if I would have the heart to even go full force. I would just bring this even my mom that our trauma doesn't just say, oh, they'll, they'll kick your butt, but it's not impossible. But then again, you said, this kid didn't even know how to even connect, so it's like, oh. Yeah, because he literally was like, so how do I, how do we fight? Like you go to battles, you, you go to, you go to, um, to doubles, you put in the code and then we'll just go from there. Like, how do I find the code? I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll help you little kid. I'm like, but also I didn't want to take the chance because I'm very much a person that never underrated, un never underrated my, your opponent. Sure. So I didn't want to take, I know it's like a 99% chance, but there is still a 1% chance that this guy is the IRL Red, the 10 year old who could, that takes down the champion that's been reigning over cancer for 20 years. I didn't want to take that chance. And then you proceeded to, oh, you're getting clapped. Yeah. Like I said, he entered the tournament, not me. Well, but I never know. How did your battles go in um in both the gym leader slash elite four section, and then we'll we'll talk about our battles and um a few of our highlight moments in the uh, in the tournament itself because I only lasted one round. Just spoiler alert. I say that probably. I want to say that my fav my favorite battle was probably against the poison gym leader. Because that was the one fight when Glacia just went in. Glacia being my Lola Ninetales, who's been my ace since Gen 7. But, uh, one, he had a, I think it was a, it was a Hisuian, um, well, Hisuian Quillfish, or Quilladin. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so he was, a sp he was over there spamming Minimize. And for those of you who don't know, um... We all know about Lola Nine Tails Aurora Veil, it's double light screen plus protect and all that, and how Blizzard misses in, in snowstorms. But the more niche thing that people don't realize is that it also ignores accuracy. So it's guaranteed, it's, it works just like Aerial Ace, that it never misses. So his whole strategy was minimize, and then so he saw, he, and he knew that. So he was like, okay, I can't use my minimize stress on this guy. So he switched into his toxic pecs, and I said as a joke, it'd be funny if I get the freeze right here. And I actually got the freeze. <laughs> no, it was so funny, but I don't think you noticed. Was it like the uh, one the gentleman just was like right next to him? Yeah, he started like scoot the badge towards like just just, just give him the badge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. And then he was like trying to um, hold like after after nine tails. Like I think he finally did beat nine tails. But when I sat on my back's caliber, he was like, "Who is?" Because I named my back's caliber back shots. He was like, "Who is back? Who's back shots?" Like oh, back's caliber. Yeah, that was so funny. Then you just could hear the clapping. Yeah, that was so funny. No, I remember my favorite one. Well, yeah, actually, I had two moments. One was when I had Poe, who's my Earth of Who, since, you know, he debuted in Gen 8. So he had to go. It was up against the Poison Gym Leader. The Poison Guy. It was the same guy, but I had to fight him with the 60 6 battle. Yeah, get rid of that video when I, whenever I put the whole thing together. But, um, yeah, so in that fight, um, like, I literally just have to let Poe stay in because if I switched out, anybody else would have been poisoned to death. So, it literally Poe versus everybody else on his team and just ended that man's whole career. I'm going to end this man's whole career. Beep, ba, beep, bada, bing, boom, bop. Pow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, even though that thing is... Even though that video quality is greedy and old, and I don't know what, but that thing still holds up. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, so Poe won that one. And then the most interesting one was when I was up against a normal gym leader, and I had my Tuzerker, who was my great Tuz from the original story of uh, Scarlet Violet. 
Yeah. I forgot he kind of gets not super fast with a plus one rapid spin. And, like, um, he, he gets, like, he gets, like, really fast than what you would think. So I kind of forgot he kind of got that fast. So he kind of went... Dio with the, with the roll da, roll da, da, and just started slamming the crap out of all his mom to the point that like he tried to switch into a, he switched into his combo and he went and I just by dumb chance it may have been an air quote prediction but it was by dumb chance where like I went for close combat and pretty much just like obliterated combo within a blink of an eye because the combo was terranormal, right? Yeah. yeah. The combo was... I thought it was terranormal, and it's just like, Oh! You're not going to enjoy this, sir! Yeah, and that's... that's Well, that's one of the reasons why Great Tusk is one of the... Is one of the most consistent Pokemon, at least in singles, at least. I know in doubles, he's just kind of whatever. But in singles, it's like... He's there for rapid spin support because he's one of the few rapid spins that can actually threaten Goldango because Goldango's ability, good as gold, pretty much makes Defog irrelevant because yeah. it, it's it's a Defog is treated as a as a um, debuff first and a stat remover second. So and so it's as good as gold doesn't allow his stats to be lowered. It just negates it altogether. So yeah. uh, even though uh, it's a ghost type and Great Tusk can't really rap spin on it. It doesn't want to take an earthquake. It doesn't want to switch in. A steel type doesn't want to switch in on a ground type. So, and uh, I wish I had mentioned this to your friend because he is very much a, a Iron Tread stand, which I respect. But the biggest yeah. drawback of Iron Treads is that he literally has no ability because Pinchurkin is not a real Pokemon. Sun Teens, on the other hand, for the Protosynthesis, you can, you can even train your Great Tusk to get a defense boost, an attack boost, a speed boost, a special defense. I mean, it's kind of hard to get special defense, but it is. I have seen it happen, but pretty much Great Tusk has an actual ability versus Iron Treads just doesn't. And it's, yeah. it, it's, it's not a huge, because your friend did make some good points that Iron Treads has a is carried by his very good typing and a very good move pull, and it just his typing just matches very good up into the meta. But yeah. having an ability is pretty important. It's so important that that Weezing literally exists to turn off abilities, and it works. That's yeah, because yeah, because um, originally in um, in Gen Eight uh, when. Uh, Galarian Weezen was introduced, he also gained the second ability of neutralizing gas, which now even regular um, Kentonian Weezing has now as his own second ability. And that ability is, in doubles, is very scary because it can help certain mods ignore abilities like slack off or uh, slow start. Slack off's a move, but. Slack off is the move that is that's pretty much oh, a no, reskin oh, no, cover. No, was it loud? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Slow start. Oh, so, uh, you mean um, um, Truant? Yeah. 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 And it's not pretty. So, but yeah, uh, I remember, uh, uh, sales when you were helping me set up my, uh, Gaucho Fire Toho, for example. Like, you told, you had to, like, help me make sure I specifically set up the EVs to, like, make sure when photosynthesis is activated in the sun, to, like, make sure my Gaucho Fire speed would be, you know, higher than anything else. Yeah, the same same thing with the Ultra Beast. The Ultra Beast do the same thing. It's, it's just like Beast Boost. Yeah, it was. Well, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it's a predecessor afterwards. But what was the team that ended up disqual? Um, they ended up eliminating you. Uh yes. Uh, yeah, he had a marauding team. And, ouch! Like uh. First round, I pretty much 
Actually, keep 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 going. I'm gonna be right back. Uh, uh, pretty much uh, first round, like uh, I pretty much won by a landslide because I had um, Felicia, my Didi, who was like perfect guy bees and, and physical defense. Because uh, my best buddy Sailor's over here, he's gone for the moment, but he told me it would be best to like increase your one of your mods, like you know. Not lesser use stuff, because, like, for example, it had a ring, which was my first team. And he helped me create, well, like, when uh, Scarlet Valor first started, that was utilized. He already has some good special D bulk, but uh, pretty much training it in his special, in his defense, gave it a chance to, like, last longer with certain physical hits, which my uh, NDD was able to take relatively well, especially against a person who rapper strike without any boosting items for or the rain so it wouldn't get you know slaughtered and yeah and Dini was really helpful against um second so second surge to to rip him right off for just one shotting for the moment but yeah pretty much uh, i had galarian zaptos turned into ground and just blew him apart second round he pretty much i yeah he pretty much shut me down because of the whole a ride on electric terrain, terrain thing because I had to get rid of the electric terrain or else I'm going to get even more cooked. And then third round, I could have won, but um, if I didn't like go for the heal for my uh, gouging fire, so I just let, let gouging fire leave it open and let my NDD attack and then attack again, I actually could have won. But oh well, that's. So let me ask you this: If if I I know you say you, you're a little fuzzy on what the team looked like, but if I if I told you the team, would you be able to remember it? Uh, yes, actually. All right. Does this lineup sound familiar? Maraiden, Incineroar, um, Iron Bundle, Urshifu, Tornadus, Iron Leaves. E- yes. That was the team. I didn't need to remember about, um, about, I don't think, I don't remember Iron, I don't remember Iron Leaves, but that was, that was one Because if that's the case, I disqualified the person who disqualified you. Oh, uh, let me. Also, DP's yeah, trying to call. Right, you're right, you're right. Oh, that was the scene? Yeah, that was the scene. I'm looking at my screen right now as we speak. Oh, so I, I, yeah, I, I got the, I got the run back for you. Okay, yeah, name's uh, Chris. I right, turn it back on. Yeah, yeah that Chris. Was, yeah, that, yeah, that was it. Yeah, so I got the run back for you, two zero. Hey, thank you, bro. Yeah, like, like I said, he's still good. Just that, like, I literally lost to a fifty-fifty with the with the negative two Draco meteor with the choice back, So it's like. If I was, if I, I legit was thinking about putting my Indini with Barry type, but I was like, eh, it should be fine. No, I, I remember me and Chris's our our response was like these these uh he said these effing trick room teams man I'm like I'm a riding user I understand it's like it's not even the trick room or the or the horse I'm ready for the for the horse it's that stupid bear the the um. The Ursa Luna is like if is is not not Blood Moon regular Ursa Luna. If I see a, a Ursa Luna in Trick Room, I'm I'm screwed. I don't worry, it's in. Oh, you're gonna have a time, my guy. <laughs> and yeah, I pretty much because in, in practice on my on my on Regulation G, that's what I practice for. It's like if I if I find a Maridan Mirror match, I'm not gonna bring my Maridan. I'm gonna go full Trick Room mode and just shut them down. He said his only his only strategy was to just protect through the um, like all I can do is just protect through trick room. Like, what did oh I mean? I was like, can you survive five nights in trick room? That's literally what I was thinking. But yeah, the the guy who actually um, eliminated me, yeah, he was actually he was actually really cool, and he he went on to grand finals too. So. I'm not too mad about that, and he also, with my opponent, he uh, he's actually one tournament away from qualifying for Worlds, so he's no slouch. Man, you went toe-to-toe 
yeah, it went. It was already went, it went down to game three, and unfortunately, we lost to a disconnect. And the TO said, "Well, you guys could gentlemen to a rematch." And he was like, "I hate to be that guy, but your team terrifies me. I'm taking the W." I can't even be mad. You went up against a, a world participant, made him shake in his boots, and this is like literally your very first time going super ham and doubles, including your regulation G videos. Pretty and, much. Uh, yeah, so, like I said, I commend you, sir. Thank you. I commend you. But, yeah, um, I actually, because he was. I'm not gonna lie, he was reading like a book, but in in game two, in game two, I thought that that he had that he actually got me. So like we literally sat there and started shaking hands like GG's. That was, that was a good game. And then we're we're both sitting there because the game didn't end. We're like, wait. I looked at my screen, I was like, oh wait, I said my mom left. He's like, who do you have left? I took care of your your frigograph, I took care of my ride in, took care of Iron Bundle. Who, who's left? And then Adam. I'm not done yet. Did he mass did he mass to go in? Did the boy mass to go in? Yeah, actually well I have a do we have a right here. I could pull back the instant replay. So yeah, yeah, it was it was um because he had a he actually had a Xenoblade themed team. So his yeah, let's go. his uh armor rouge was named Charla. So it was Charla versus the Dawn. I forgot what he said the Don was a name too, but it's something you know, way related. He said he was gonna name it Don Bun, but it wasn't his, it was his friend's because he's he's a violet player. So he got that one traded. But pretty much he forgot to, to um well no, he just had to um he he misclicked because he didn't know which one did more damage. A non stab flare blitz or the sun or collision course. So I faked out the the um the armor rules to take it out and then he went for a collision course and after he saw the damage he was like he instantly said flareblitz does more damage but at that point i healed so much from his coridon that even after we were went for flareblitz i just out healed him and just killed him off that way so adam literally did a 2v1 oh wow so adam literally, adam literally pulled the i didn't hear no bell which is actually kind of fitting because it's a. I already told you guys this is a this is a reference to Real Steel. That's literally how the movie ended. Yeah. Like yeah, he like he's that. fighting the the undefeated world champion and the world champion is just everyone's counting him out like Zeus 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 because this is the undefeated champion and Adam's just sitting there taking all the hits and they're like this little robot is not going down. And then then when Zeus starts to get low on energy, he's like. It's time for a counterattack. That's literally what Adam did. Let's go! Yeah, just too bad uh, things went rough with the disconnect. But hey, that's still awesome. That one Adam put on one heck of a show. So Adam just sitting there like, raise the roof and you just see his arms flying high in the sky. <laughs> Pretty much. He's like, well... That's on me, as I guess, because I guess going to game three. It's like, I guess we are going to game three. Yeah, I don't think me and the others did see you, see you and him talk. I was like, oh, they're sitting there having a good time. But you could also, we were, but we were also commenting and saying, but we also see how intense this fight is, too. Goodness. They're still going. But... Yeah, I'm not going to lie that actually, it actually does help that most VGC players are very friendly because like you said this is my first time really doing doubles like that so i'm not gonna lie tournament nerves were there for me oh, trust me. i get it i've been in my few rounds of tournaments it's cool oh, not, not many not, not, not that many in games but definitely in real life situations so i i get it so luckily Locally, everyone there was really cool. Everyone was was um, yeah. just there to have a good time. So just talking to them helped me through the tournament nerves, and like we're all here just have fun. We all love Pokemon, so that helped out a lot. Oh yes, it did. And we're all kind of concerned about the whole desyncing, cause yeah, yikes. Yeah, if, and unfortunately, well, fortunately, I did have to fight the guy that DQ'd 
round one last time. He's like, I want that run back. Oh, yeah, he was your Kieran. Li- I literally created a Kieran because the way he started the conversation is, you were here last year, right? You eliminated me round one. That's how he started the conversation. Yeah, because I heard that. I heard him say all that. And I was like, because he was like, right next to me. I was like, who was he referring that to? Because there's someone behind me, but I just couldn't, I just didn't really like turn around until you told me he was referring to you. I was like, oh, I see. But yeah, he got eliminated round one again, so. Yeah, that happened to my friend, uh, uh, Mountain. His name is Matt. Yeah, he got eliminated around one. I found him on his story. I'm like, oh, that's why I didn't see him anywhere. Oh, so I guess that was the only unofficial Kuma crew member that made it past round one. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. I hopefully I did you guys justice. Dude, you got you were in the you were in the quarter quarter final. You did well, my guy. And you're still. I know, oh, semifinals. Huh? No, I made the semifinals. Oh, you made the semifinals. You know what? My correction, suit. Yeah, you yeah, you got farther than me anyway. So, hey, hey you got the right to say, oh, not, not too strong, but like, you got the right to say, yeah, I did well. For your first time in, or well, your very first serious time in doubles. But, yeah, like, I had a really fun time. Hopefully next year there'll be a lot more structured with certain things but other than that as long as everybody there to have fun and just chill we should all get along just fine nice well hey, is, yeah. is there anything else you guys say sailors no, i was just about to ask you the same thing i'm pretty really good i'm just glad we have fun and we were and like we were able to like put in some good work here and there with our teams you know i got knocked out round one but i will say i did a lot better then last year, because last year I just got speed blitz so bad, you don't even realize what the heck just happened. So. Yeah, but overall, I am I just wanted to thank everyone for joining me on this journey because, like I said, my forte is singles. It will always be singles because I've been doing singles since 2007. So that's always where my heart's going to be. But learning a new format and being that I think at this point I'm just, I'm just being a bitter old man. That doubles is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. It will always be the official format. So I just need to suck it up, learn it, and if I want to show them the very best, that I just need to adapt and learn to it. So I'm gonna learn this together, and I I very much appreciate everyone who joined me on this journey to learn doubles with me. So, and thank you to my friend Abug for helping me along the way, however you can, because you are the doubles guy. Oh, no problem, my guy. Glad I could really help you out. And I also want to thank you for, like, helping me, like, get my mindset more fresh out. Because, like, no joke, watching your videos have really helped me uh, understand how you do your processing. Which literally did help me out quite a handful, like, quite a little bit in the, tur- in the tournament itself against uh, Chris, who I fought. But, yeah, I'm like, okay, if I'm going to keep my mind, like, shifting so I'm sticking around like that I have more of a better chance of it just being a predictable sitting ish duck yeah because at, at a certain point like I said it wasn't your team because I I, I personally piloted your teams in the 1500s so your yeah. your team has the potential it, it's just a matter of the player at that point and no yeah it's like yeah because there's not I just like don't trust my gut it's, you know, I just end up shooting myself in the foot multiple times so I hope I can trust that this isn't going to be the end of your Scar and Violet journey and, you, and I will see you more before Gen 10 starts. Oh yes, well definitely. I will make sure I put in enough more efficient time to make sure I actually, one, do a lot more instead of just fade away into the shadows because even I'm not gonna lie, I'm, like, uh, I am surprised that like, uh, like the very few videos I have posted on my channel about uh, Scarlet Brother has been doing okay, so I can't complain. But yeah, I will make sure I put in some more time on the side to like freshen up my double skills more and make sure I actually hang around a lot more. <laughs> All right. Well, I look forward to playing more battles with you in the Paldea region. Yep. But can't believe we got to go through showdown because we want to make sure we get our stuff organized. <laughs> Pretty much. One day, one day we might get that Pokemon XD 
looking showdown. Oh, uh, yeah, we almost had that. We kind of had that in XD. Yeah, the, the very first battle was a simulation. Yeah, yeah. Salos, anything else you got to wrap up with? Nope, I think I'm going to end it off right here. So, there should, you guys can expect two, at minimum, two more videos from me in this series. Because I do have two more things you got to rack up. Because we never actually did hit Mashup Ball tier, and the latter reset is at the end of the week. So, we got to gotta um do the thing this 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 is this is the world champion difference team at this point we gotta cross the finish line okay you gotta go yeah you gotta motor my guy gotta put the pedal to the middle but so yeah you guys can expect one more of that and you guys can get a more proper finale video on just a, a proper recap on everything we talked about but this is just our raw thoughts just our raw our raw um first impressions and just unfiltered unscripted on anything on how we felt about the tournament so, thanks for coming on with me. Yeah, no problem, my guy. If you ever need me again, just let me know. Will do. But, with all that being said, I'm about to get up out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Till then, shine blazingly bright, my greatest treasures. Bye! Shine on!